So are you looking for a video doorbell, but your house doesn't have a wired doorbell? Or do you live in an apartment where you can't even mess with the doorbell? If so, Ring has an answer for you and it is called their peephole cam. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this camera and seeing what it can do, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Steve from the YouTube channel Steve Does and I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. Today we're looking at Ring's peephole cam. Now, I actually love the idea of this camera. The biggest reason is that it's super easy to set up. You don't have to mess with any kind of wiring. All you have to do is take out the peephole in your door, slide this thing in and you're done. It is super easy. This thing shoots at 1080p, it has two-way talk and it has knock detection. So if for some reason somebody walks up to your door and doesn't realize that's a doorbell to push, if they knock on the door, it's gonna detect the vibration in the door and send you a notification. So it's got you covered. You can also do things like set up motion zones. It's got a great field of view. You can save recordings and pictures and do all of that fancy things that Ring allows you to do with their subscription. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what comes in this box, how to install it, and we're gonna show you some demos of what this camera is capable of. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. With that said, let's see what comes in this box. All right, so here is everything that comes in the box. We have got the battery and the charging cable. We have got the indoor housing assembly. We've got the peephole key up here. Now that's important. That is what you're gonna be using to remove your old peephole and clean up any rough edges around it. We've got the size adjuster. So if the hole in the door is a little too big, you can use this. We've got the locking nut and then we've got the doorbell itself. So that is what you'll be putting through the door. It's going to be connecting in here and then you'll be using this to lock it down once everything is assembled. Now that we've seen what comes in the box, let's get it installed. So we're gonna start off by taking the key that came in the box to remove our old peephole. I'm gonna start unscrewing the peephole from the inside and then reach around to the front and finish unscrewing it there. Just to be safe, I wanna keep these two pieces together, so I'm going to screw them back together, and I'm gonna actually put it into the ring box in case I need it later. Once I've done that, I'm gonna take the doorbell and insert it through the door. On the inside of the door, I'm gonna use the size adjustment and fit that into the door also. I'm then gonna take the housing assembly and install that over the hole. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the orange cap off of the peephole, and then I'm going to pull out the wiring inside. Once I've done that, I'm gonna use the locking nut to hold everything in place. I'm then gonna connect the cable to the housing assembly. This is going to connect both of the devices together. I'm going to push the cable down and lock it into place. And I want to make sure it is flat on the unit. Once I've done that, I'm going to take the key and I'm going to make sure that the housing is locked down tight. After that, we're going to insert the battery and then put the cover on the indoor housing. Next, I'm gonna check the doorbell on the outside of the door and make sure that the doorbell is nice and straight. Once we've done that, it is ready to go. So now that we have the camera installed in the door, setting it up in the app is really easy to do. You're gonna load up the app and you're gonna click on set up a device. From there, we're gonna click on doorbells and you can either scan the QR code that came on the device or you can click on setup without scanning. I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, I'm gonna click on the peephole door, I'm gonna select the name front door for this camera right here, I'm gonna say that I already have it installed and then I'm just gonna follow the steps. You can either click to play the video or you can just keep going through the steps to get everything all set up. It is really easy to do. All right, now that I have it set up in the app, let's go over some of the features. Up in the top left corner of the app, you can see the doorbell is showing right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the picture of the doorbell, which is gonna load up a live view of that doorbell. From the live view here, you can hit either the microphone or the speaker to talk or listen to what's going on at the front door, or you can start scrolling over to the side. So here is a scroll bar with a timeline of everything that has been happening at the front door. You can either scrub through the footage or you can click on the arrows below to just jump to the next triggered event, and typically that's gonna be motion. 
Up in the top right corner above the picture is the gear icon. We're gonna click on that to load up the settings. So from here, you can see all the settings of the doorbell, everything that you can click on. I'm not gonna go through each one of these, but a couple of things that I wanted to mention was, let's click on motion settings. So in motion settings here, you can either go through the motion wizard, which is gonna help you set up the settings below, or you can manually do this stuff. So setting up the motion zones, you can set how far out you want your camera to reach and what areas you want it to detect. And then you also can turn off motion on the sides or in the middle if you want to do that. You've also got the option to here for motion verification, motion schedule, and motion frequency. Backing out of there, I wanna also take a look at the device settings. So in the device settings here, you can mess around with the video settings, snapshot captures, alert settings, knock detection. So if you go through the knock detection settings, if somebody knocks on the door and the camera feels the vibration, it'll let you know that somebody knocked on the door. Privacy settings is one where if you set up a privacy zone, so I'm gonna click on privacy zone, I'm gonna click on add privacy zone. And what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna add a privacy zone over my neighbor's front door here. So we're gonna cover up their front door click on done, and that's gonna put just a blackout over their door so I can't see what's going on at their door. If you have an apartment, this might be something that would interest you, covering up a neighbor's door so you can give them some privacy. Okay, so now that we have the privacy zone set up, let me show you some examples of what this camera can do. So one thing that is unfortunate with the privacy settings, as you see here, is that it blacks out an area of the screen. Now, obviously that makes sense. It's blacking out something, so whatever walks in front of that is just gonna be blacked out. But if you're using this in an apartment and your door faces somebody else's door and you try to black out that area, you're essentially covering up whoever is at the door. So it's not gonna work in a lot of cases, but if you do have a case where you wanna black out a few areas and not the main center of your door, that is gonna be a good option for you. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the privacy settings so we can see some more examples without anything blacked out. Okay, you're gonna push the button. Out the audio and video yeah. of the Ring peephole door cam. This is what it looks and sounds like with that 1080p image. What do you guys think? All right, so what do you guys think of the peephole cam? Personally, I love it. I love that there's a camera right in the center of my door that's pretty much at eye level or a little bit lower than people who are walking up to the door. I love that position so much more than the doorbell that's off to the side a little bit lower. And sometimes it's hard to pick up faces with the doorbell, at least where mine is located. So for me, the peephole cam is actually ideal. I would prefer this over the doorbell. And for those of you who don't even wanna mess with the doorbell and wiring and getting all of that stuff set up, this is gonna be a great option for you. It was so easy to set up. I love that they provide the tool for you to take out your old peephole and put one in. Even if you don't have a peephole on your door, you could just drill a hole right through it and insert this camera and you're done. It is so easy to set up and use. I love the feature of being able to scrub through footage on the app and be able to see kind of quickly what's been going on at the front door, or you can hit the side to side button to just jump to the next motion that was triggered. I really enjoy that. This camera seems to be everything I would want for keeping an eye on my front door. Now there are a couple of things you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind before running out and buying one of these, and that is that it is gonna have some problems if you have a screen or a security door in front of your main door. It's not gonna be able to see through a security screen. And also if you have a lighter screen, it's gonna have some trouble picking up a motion through that screen. Now, if you do have one of these in front of the door, you're also gonna have a problem with the night vision. So when the infrared lights turn on, it's going to reflect off of that screen or security door that is in front of your door and it's also gonna hamper anything you see. So if you've got something in front of the door, you might want to to avoid this camera, just go with the standard doorbell if you have that option, but just something to keep in mind if you're looking to purchase this. 
All right, so to sum this camera up, it is a 1080p camera that allows you to record video and take pictures at your front door. It's got knock detection, adjustable motion settings. You can customize the field of view. It works great in the Amazon environment and is easy to set up. But what do you guys think about this camera? Is this something that you're gonna be looking to pick up or do you prefer another product that is out there? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys want to know more about this camera, camera or any other doorbell type camera out there, check out the link in the description below to reviews.org. If you guys want to see more from myself, check out my YouTube channel, Steve Does, where I do a lot of smart home tech and other cool tech reviews. If this video is helpful for you guys, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. I want to thank you guys for joining me here at reviews.org and I'll see you in the next video.